5,524 plus zero. Well, I'm adding zero. I'm adding nothing. So it's still just going to be 5,524. By what number can we multiply 8,895 to get one? Well, we're going to have to multiply it times its reciprocal. So we're going to multiply it times, or we could say it's, it's multiplicative inverse is sometimes one way of thinking about it. And that's just going to be 1 over 8,895. You multiply 8,895 times 1 over 8,895, 8 you are going to get 1. 1555 times 1. Well, anything times 1 is going to be that anything. So this is just going to say 1. This is essentially saying 1 1555. So that's just going to be 1555. 1555. 1543 plus 0. Well, we're adding nothing to it. So it's just going to be 1543. 5804 plus 0. Once again, we're adding nothing to it. So it's just 5804. What number can we add to 1,893 to get to 0? So we're going to have to essentially take 1,893 away. So the only number that we can add that would take away 1,893 is negative 1,893. This added to 1,893 is equal to 0. Anything times 1 is going to be that anything. So it's going to be 7,360. By what number can we multiply 4,850 to get 1? Well, we've already done this. This is just going to be 1 over 4,850. And we are, we are done.